Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with McFit Method and this is your workout of the day. Now, before we get into this workout, make sure you visit mcfitwad.com and download your free daily workout guide. This guide is my guide, the one I've been using to plan all of my workouts. It contains over 275 home workouts, all structured into a plan for an entire year. So make sure you visit mcfitwad.com or click the link down in the description or the link that's up here and download your free copy today. All right, guys, let's get into today's workout and it's going to be an AMRAP wrap workout. We're going to do three five-minute AMRAPs with a one-minute rest in between. Now, AMRAP is as many rounds or as many reps as possible within that five minutes. So we're going to set a clock for five minutes. We're going to go ahead and we're going to start off with the first movement, which is that jump rope. So I'm going to head back here, grab my RX Mark your jump rope, and we're going to start off with 100 rotations of this jump rope. Now, you can just do your basic two-foot jump, which means your feet are close together. We're jumping up and down on the balls of our feet, keeping that chest up, shoulders back. Initiate the first swing of that rope. Elbows are in close to my sides, guys. You're rotating that rope just with your wrists, jumping on the balls of my feet. And you'll see my hands are slightly in front of my hips. Just a nice steady motion here, guys. And we're gonna do 100 rotations of this jump rope. Now, if you wanna go ahead and intensify this workout, what you can do is run in place, which is gonna be just alternating your right and left feet. So you can generate a little bit more speed with this. So you can intensify it a little bit. And then if you want to intensify the workout even more, you can do what's called double unders. Now, a double under is two rotations of that jump, uh, of that rope per jump. So you're just gonna have to jump a little bit higher off the ground and speed up that rope just a little bit. So that's double unders, two rotations of that jump rope for every jump. So you're gonna complete 100 rotations of that jump rope, and then we're moving into the dumbbell sequence for this workout, the strength component of this workout. And it's meant to be a sequence that you're gonna complete all of these movements without putting the dumbbells down. So what we're gonna end up doing is we're gonna start off, we're gonna grab two dumbbells, and we're gonna do eight dumbbell cleans, right into eight dumbbell push press, then right into eight dumbbell front squats, and then we're gonna get down on the ground, and we're gonna do eight dumbbell push-ups. So I'm gonna head back here, set my jump rope down. I'm gonna grab, a relatively light pair of dumbbells, and because we are gonna to try to do this completely unbroken, all four sets of eight on this. And we're gonna start off with those dumbbell push press. So I've got my two dumbbells here, or the, the, uh, the dumbbell cleans. I'm gonna set these down on the ground here. Palms are gonna be facing inwards. You're gonna be feet are about uh, shoulder width apart here, and toes are tracking out slightly. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hinge at the hips, start to bend at the knees. You're gonna be, knees are gonna be tracking out over the toes. You're gonna pick up these two dumbbells, and you're gonna clean them up into the front rack position. So you're really using the power of your lower body to generate the momentum to then pull those dumbbells right up into that front rack position. If you're using a really heavy set of dumbbells, you might need to be able to do a mini squat underneath those. But since we are going a little bit lighter today, you could probably just clean them right up in that front rack position. From this front rack position, then you're gonna go back down to the ground, touch the heads on the dumbbell, and then clean them back up again. So chest up, shoulders back, hinging at those hips, knees are tracking out over those toes, grab these dumbbells, clean them up, front rack position, then back down. Clean them up, all the way back down. So I've gone pretty light on these, so to do eight of these, doesn't really take much effort, so you might wanna go a little bit heavier on those. Once you've completed eight of those, you're gonna end up in that front rack position. We're gonna move on to the next one, which is going to be eight dumbbell push press. So from this position, we're gonna have these dumbbells in this front rack position, and we want to do eight push press. Now a push press is different than just a strict shoulder press. So you might wanna go a little bit heavier out here, like I said, because what we're gonna do is we have our feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. We're gonna do a mini squat, and from the squat, we're gonna pop open those hips, and that's gonna to start to generate some momentum that those dumbbells are gonna to wanna to start to go up. As you are popping open those hips, you are pressing also with your, with your arms to get those dumbbells up overhead. So in this squat position, press up, all the way up, full extension at the top, and then back down, two, three, and we're gonna do eight of these. Now you notice it's a full, a full movement there. I'm not bringing the dumbbells down and then going into a squat and then standing up and then doing a strict press. It's one fluid motion. So as I'm hinging up those hips, going into that mini squat, I'm starting to bring that down. And then also, as I'm popping open those hips, I've already started to push those dumbbells up overhead. So you're gonna end up doing eight of those push press. Right after that, once again, you're gonna end up in this front rack position and we're gonna immediately go into our dumbbell squats. So feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, dumbbells in that front rack position, you're gonna hinge at the hips, knees are tracking out over those toes, you're gonna go into a full squat position and then stand all the way back up. All the way down, all the way up, and like I said, we're gonna do eight of these. Now you're making sure that those knees are tracking out over those toes. We don't wanna have our knees caving in here, so make sure that your toes are pointed out slightly, and as you go into that, chest is up, shoulders back, knees are tracking out over those toes. 
Once you've completed eight of those, we're gonna go into the final movement, which is gonna be eight dumbbell push-ups. So we're gonna get down here in a plank position with our hands on these dumbbells. Now, when your hands are on these dumbbells, you wanna make sure that your shoulders and elbows are in line with your wrists, so a nice straight up and down here. Wanna get back in this plank position. When I'm, don't want your hips sagging down or piking up. Nice plank position here. You're gonna keep your elbows in close to your sides. Go into that push-up position. Press out of that all the way up to full extension, all the way down, all the way up for eight of these push-ups. Once you've completed eight of those push-ups, that completes one round of those movements. But like I said, we're gonna keep repeating this sequence of movements for a total of five minutes. So once you complete those push-ups, you're gonna go back up to the top of that jump rope, do another 100 rotations of that jump rope, and then you're going through those four dumbbell movements, eight per set, Again, completing that sequence until the five minutes is up. Once the five minutes is up, you're gonna rest for one minute, then complete another five minute AMRAP, rest for one more minute, and then a final five minute AMRAP of those same movements. All right guys, so that is today's workout. Hope you enjoyed this workout. Make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you like. What, let me know what else you wanna see and I'll do my best to bring it to you. Also, make sure you visit mickfitwad.com. Download your free daily workout plan. 275 workouts in here in this workout guidebook and you can download yours for free over at mcfitwide.com or the click or click the link down in the description. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this workout and I'll see you right back here tomorrow in the McFit Method gym.